Hey world, welcome back to another beautiful episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. If this is your first time joining us today, I would love to welcome you and ask that you go down below, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. You don't want to miss any future flight simming videos just like this one. So if you're a beginner to Microsoft Flight Simulator or an advanced user and just want to add to your plethora of add-ons that you most likely have on your computer, then stay tuned because this is the video for you. So guys, the very first website that I would recommend to any beginner or even an advanced user would be flightsim.to, which is on our screen here today. We're gonna show you how to take advantage of all the key features of this awesome website, and we're gonna show you how to use them. So the very first thing that you need to do when you sign on to this website is go right up here to the top right corner and create an account. Why do I need to create an account, you might ask? Well, because without that account, you won't get all of these cool little features where you have your mod manager and my downloads. Then you say, who do I need that for? Well, for those of you who have hundreds and hundreds of scenery, liveries, aircraft, and multiple different add-on applications, you guys will understand. It will be very difficult for you to keep track of what is in your folders, what needs to be updated, so to do that, you need to sign up for that account. Once you sign up for an account, it is going to open your world to a plethora of different options. Once you click on your different aircraft liveries and pick the correct one that you want for your next flight simming experience, you will find that livery, you will click on that, you will drop your jaw in all about what is available here for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once you open that up, you're gonna find a couple different things here. One, all of the different uh, pictures from the gallery for this particular livery, aircraft, or add-on application. Next, you're gonna find the developer, and more importantly, if it's compatible with Sim Update 5, which we are all too commonly aware of. Next, you're gonna go down, you're gonna find the initial release date, the last release date, the file size, and how many downloads this developer has received on this particular add-on. Below that, you have some comments, good, bad, or the indifference, some change logs, and again, a user gallery. If you'd like to give them a donation, go right ahead right here. I know they won't mind. The next thing you want to do is click the download button with your left mouse button. After you click that, you're going to do one thing, nothing. So you want to wait until flightsim.to pulls up your next screen here and starts counting down. Again, do not do anything. The reason is if you leave this screen and come back, it will not have downloaded for you and you will have to wait again. So you're still waiting. Once it is populated down in your browser that it has downloaded or has started the download, at that point you can then go back and start searching your multiple other indexes uh, with different sceneries, utilities, and aircraft. The other thing you could do is open up another web page so that you can have two going at the same time. That will make it a little bit easier and faster. After you've got all of the mods, downloads, liveries that you want, so to figure out what you do have, go to Mod Manager, and this will bring up every mod that you have downloaded on flightsim.to. So now, one of the cool things uh, that you're going to notice here on all of these is this little check marks in that little box. We're going to show you what that means right now for you as you're searching for more mods, add-ons, and liveries for your aircraft. Now, as we're going down here on the A32NX mods, one of the things you're going to notice is that little check mark again. That is a great indication that you have already downloaded that. And if you want to use it, just go to your computer and pull it right up. 
Now, the other thing that makes it very difficult with these mods is they are changing all the time. Updates are happening as we speak, and it can get very confusing to figure out what needs updates and what doesn't. So, FlightSim.to has made that easy for you. When you go to the, your uh, account here, go down to My Downloads. Once you click on My Downloads, this will bring up every add-on livery that you have downloaded from flightsim.to that is in need of some tender loving care and that would be a new download update so all you have to do while you're here is just click on the little download button it's going to bring you up to the developers page here and again it's going to have all the pictures the galleries you can click on the read more or read less. It will open up that dialog box to show you some more information about that livery. Then down below, all you have to do is click on my or click on a download. Right above, you're going to see in the status indication that there is a new version available. So that's the easiest way to keep track of all of your mods, especially if you are a beginner and you don't want to have things spread all over your computer. Again, I want to thank everybody for joining us today on 2020 Flight Simmers. I hope you got some great information out of this, and I hope it helped you at least just a little bit. If it did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel, lets us know we're doing a good job. If you haven't done so already while you're down there, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell. And as always, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one.